So as I'm crossing again, first cross, this hand goes beside my body, all right? And then as you come to doing the second cross, what kind of tends to happen is you need to make sure that these can kind of clear and then you cross and make sure you get your hands again wider than your body. What's cracking Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi S, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle People. Today we have another killer skipping tutorial for you. Today I'm teaching you the side swing cross with a switch up. I don't know the official name, but trust me, you need to check this move. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you in three, two, one. Watch this. All right, welcome back guys. So as you would agree, that is a very, very slick looking move, all right? Now this is an advanced tutorial, guys. Um, and I don't want you to kind of spend too long on this video if, you, like, if you're a beginner, basically, right? So I want you to do one thing. Just go check out this video somewhere here. I'm gonna put it up, right? This is how you do the cross or the switch cross. And you need to know this move before you get into this side swing cross version of it, okay? So I'm really looking and talking to my advanced crew out there. It's gonna help you in everything that you do right when it comes to a rope in terms of getting your brain thinking, your mind thinking, um, activating a lot of different kind of body parts. Uh, and it's all about timing. It's all about making sure that you guys can understand what you're doing with your arms and rope, uh, footwork. And uh, yeah, it's gonna take a bit of time, but just give this a go. I'm gonna take you through the steps that I want you guys to take in terms of how you execute this, the entry, the exit, and maybe some variations at the end. All right, so let's get straight into this movie, guys. First thing you need to know, is the basic, well I say basic, you need to know the switch cross on the front, you need to know a side swing cross, as you know it comes from the side, okay? Now, what we need to think about is, when you do this move, we're gonna try and take it as slow as possible. We're gonna start with a boxer step, and then we will switch up the variations. So, get into your boxer step here, and when you're doing your side swing cross, I want you to now go in slow motion, you're just gonna do this first step for me here, just like that. This is gonna help you kind of understand that when this revolution happens, when this cross happens here, this is the moment now from before you start to jump again through the rope, we're gonna to have to switch our arms over from that cross position. So I'm predominantly left-handed. So we go here and then now as the rope's coming around, I'm gonna to have to quickly get this right hand on top and make sure we can cross it, make a loop, jump through it. So remember, it's not doing this. We're not kind of going here and then uncrossing. We're now gonna go here and then cross that. So hopefully you saw that here, and then cross again. It's a really kind of like, it's a really, really slick move, guys. Like if you do it quick enough and get it really, I guess, locked in, tuned up, like it'll look so good that if you're showing both versions to someone, for example, if you're just showing them a side swing cross open like this, it won't look any different to them when you're doing the move like that. So what we're trying to do is we're now trying to match up our boxer step with the move, so here, here. The key tip here, before I actually talk about the box, box step, guys, is that hand coming across, that little switch up, the timing of when it needs to happen. So what I kind of focus on is I let the cross happen. As the ropes come in, just by my eye line, that's when I need to make the cross. You don't want to try and do it too early, you're going to trip up. If you do it too early, yeah, it's, you're going to trip. You're not going to give yourself enough time for the rope to create a loop. So you want to kind of aim a little bit down the middle. As the rope comes across your eye line, that's when, that's when that's kind of the cue to make that cross again. So here, wait for it, cross again. Then to time this up with your footwork, again, you need to wait for the rope to create a loop and the loop needs to be wide enough so you can skip through it. So as I'm crossing again, first cross, this hand goes beside my body, all right? And then as you come to doing the second cross, what kind of tends to happen is you need to make sure that these can kind of clear and then you cross and make sure you get your hands again wider than your body. If they're not wider than your body, you're gonna smack yourself, hit the side of your, your body and you're basically gonna strip up. So here, and then make sure that that cross 
happens out here. So you need to feel like your wrists are further than your torso, further than your waist. Then it's about time in the footwork, like I said. And what I kind of want to feel is, and I've said this in loads of tutorials, as the rope's clipping the floor, you can hear kind of a nice little beat. My feet kind of feel that beat, the boxer step. We don't want to change that rhythm just like that. You see, and the rope kind of just keeps making the same sort of beat or the kind of pattern doesn't change. So that means your feet don't change. So a good drill to do that is just hear the sound of the rope, hear that ticking sound, make sure your feet can stick to that ticking sound. If you go off beat, if you go quicker, for example, the feet then need to change speed, you see, and it just all breaks down because you're trying to do too many things at once. So slow things down, get the beats, the patterns right, and it will definitely make a lot more sense, a lot more smoother sense, and it'll be a lot more fluid. This is a very that difficult tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of variations before I close off the tutorial. It doesn't need to be too long, it's more of a visual thing, um, but here's a variation, right? You can now mix this, instead of the boxer step, when you get even more advanced, you could do this with a run skip. So the run skip, let's say you wanna do the switch cross with a run skip. You just keep the, the, the legs moving, obviously, cross, cross, okay? Again, stick to the pattern, boom, boom, boom. Your feet don't need to change speeds, don't need to change rhythm. And then when you're coming from the side now, let's say you're coming from a side swing cross, run, one, two. One, two. Yeah, nearly messed up there, but we keep it going. Mic's falling off. One, two. You see, so as you get better, you really want that cross, that second switch cross happening at just a precise time where the rope is, is seriously close to, it's kind of going to be close to tripping up, but you don't want to kind of over exaggerate the movement. So it looks kind of awkward. Um, yeah, keep at it. It's just a move that I want to share with you. Already out of breath, microphone's falling off. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, guys, I want to say a quick thank you again, as always, keep us really busy um, sharing this movement with me, uh, building this dream and continuing this vision. Skipping is taking over the cardio game and we're thankful you guys are behind us and um, growing an amazing community with us. So remember, check our, oh, I'm out of breath, man. Check our ropes, check our mats, check our gear. Um, keep supporting us, it means the world. And I'll see you in the next video as always. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the night in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the end of days now